main circuit breaker power on and service switch on there. the power led is activated as soon as the switch is turned on there is guys cold room light turn off it's working compressor welcome guys today we're going to wire Dixel XR06CX into cold room or they call it walk-in freezer this is the wiring diagram guys as shown on top of the Dixel as you can see terminal number one or N6 is supply now here is my supply guys it came from here goes to this switch here and it goes to terminal number 4 there the 4 together with the red here the red red and red for the terminal number 6 now my number 2 terminal is for the fan and this will be my fan here and the terminal number 3 is my compressor and this is my compressor here terminal number 3 now I just wired for the light indicators and together in my number 2 the evaporator fan I also have light indicator and this is my evaporator fan I'm going to wire that later and the number 5 is my neutral this is the blue line here is my neutral here and the number 5 I also have a neutral here okay all the neutral of this light indicator is connected here terminal number 5 and as I've said 6 is line 7 is defrost and here's my contactor for the defrost and I wired also light indicator but in the actual reality fourth light in the indicator is for the trick I want also to see that just in case the diesel is in the frost this light indicator is on as well as the power but the two here is off and we're gonna tap this here and the terminal 10 is the evaporator sensor together with the 11 and 12 is connected they were connected in parallel so here is my sensor guys so let's start I'm going to wire first the supply in reality guys there is a circuit breaker prior to the circuit breaker in between the compressor so you should cut this and install circuit breaker but this time I don't have it so we're going to supply all the the purpose guys is once you're troubleshooting it servicing it you can just simply turn off the circuit breaker and you can work with it and after the line let's proceed to the neutral and I'm going to supply the coil of the relay for the compressor you can use relay guys once the compressor is 2 HP below but once the compressor is 3 HP above use they use 3 phase so you need a contactor now a 3 phase contactor this is for my compressor and this orange here is my output relay of this Dixel going to this compressor and later we're going to wire the compressor and it should be wired to the A1 of this relay there 
and this is my evaporator fan it should be wired here just follow guys the diagram here and this is my defrost going to wire it here also and it's almost done guys now let's proceed to the load side here if you notice this is my relay the line is connected with together with the condensing fan here this is my condensing fan and this is my solenoid valve and I'm going to run that with my compressor and my neutral here and I also run the neutral of the condensing fan here now if you have high pressure and low pressure switch you should install in between for example this is your high pressure and low pressure switch connect here and connect here okay just connect it to the live or the hot wire so disregard the neutral but I don't have so I'm sorry I don't have it so I'm going to wire it here the normally open is this terminal and this terminal so we're going to wire the hot wire of the compressor together with the neutral so take note guys if you have high pressure switch and low pressure switch cut here and install in between here okay okay next my evaporator fan should be at the bottom because at the bottom is the normally open well this two here is the normally close We are almost done. And this is a drain pan heater, but assuming that this is a defrost heater because I don't have a defrost heater, we're going to wire that here on top. In addition to our wiring diagram guys we need the ampere circuit breaker for the light bulb here for the ceiling light we're going to tap the cold room lights here if you have frame heater you can wire the frame heater here also because this is came from the main circuit breaker then neutral I can tap my neutral here on top there okay, the moment I'm going to turn on this like indicator light compressor will activate and this is my fan motor and this is my defrost there is it and we can turn on our lights there and let's wait for the delay so that's how you wire Nixel 06x into cold room okay. Bitzer compressor they also use time delayed prior to this and they use conductor with overload Compressor, so, 
activities is intense. And once we go to activate the main antifrost, these lights here will turn, turn off. And this one will light, but this one is defective, guys. The proper is they use this. I just use neon light here, neon light here. And we're going to activate the main antifrost. There is it. The frost happened, but this one doesn't light because it's a defective. So here's the wiring diagram, guys. I'm going to show you the wiring diagram. There, stop, stop. So if you're new to my channel, guys, please support me by clicking the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you.